Happy New Year! I know it's a little bit far into the new year, but I would like to discuss what this channel is going to have in the future. Well, now that 2017 has gone away, it was more of my starting ground and it was more of a catching up on my end. Because truth be told, when I got back to anime and manga, I was trying to catch up every single series and I was doing a lot of backtracking especially there's a lot of series that have multiple seasons beforehand and I just want to get into them I just wanted to know them and I did but man did it take forever and then there is other series that are coming out with sequels in this year but I'm going to take care of that on my own time and this time I am well prepared rather than be like oh god where I'm going where I'm going where I'm going that's the problem I had with last year. Now this year, I'm way more focused. I am way more organized. And that's the most important part to me because if I'm not organized, I'm going to lose motivation. There are times that I lost motivation to do reviews, to write reviews, to do a lot of different topics and every source of thing. There are so many things I keep saying, I'm going to do this this year, and I didn't because I was losing track. This year... I'm more focused because I got things organized and I got things under control. Rather than trying to do a lot of things at once, it's best to try to stay focused one at a time. This is my new year resolution as you can say and I'm going to make the best out of it. So what is going to happen with this channel? Well, first of all, I know Gintama is going to end eventually. Now, would that mean am I going to review new series? That's possible. I can't guarantee it yet. It could be another monthly series, another weekly series. I don't know exactly yet. I do feel that Tokyo Ghoul Red is going to end at some point as well, which is going to have a sequel. But in the meantime, we could have something else to take care of. It. And I don't know when Attack on Titan will end. It might not end this year for all we know. So maybe it will not be replaced and I'm not trying to consider too much of it. But I am going to try to see what series I can replace Gintama. So once it ends, it's not like I'm going to pick up another series. If anything, I would just wait and see what caught my interest and what I'd like to talk about with you guys. Now, as a Sparta Lounge, which is pretty much like my big project work, there are going to be more of those this year. I'm trying to do it as a monthly basis. So one out of a month that you will always see a Sparta Lounge content. And what that is, is that it's pretty much me talking about in depth with the series, with like as a first impression, with it's like an overall thoughts, or it could be like a different topic. For example, like there are series that even though they are getting remake this year or even last year, they should not ignore the first series. Especially there is one anime that's gonna come out this spring that pretty much say like, oh, I can watch this and I'll be okay. Even though the original is deemed one of the best series of all time. I'm just letting you know what sorts of materials I'm going to work with. Starting next month, there's going to be a new Sparta's Lounge. And I'm going to start with Golden Kamui Impression. The anime is coming out and I really wanted to talk about the manga. I have been reading it for a while and I gotta say, it's pretty good. And I can't wait for the anime. The anime looks promising. I'm hoping it's promising. There is one in March that I am going to work with that is going to be a little bit comical. But... Let's see how you guys like it. It all depends on what happens with Gintama. I'm giving you a little clue exactly why I say that part. We'll see. Now, I wanted to introduce a new content that I'm going to start eventually. And that is the Sparta's Lounge Extra. Now, to be honest, this might be a working title or this might stay there. And I have done this before. But I am going to have them shorten its length. For his video content and what they are they consist brief reviews or other topics involving with anime so they're going to be other things that is based on anime but it doesn't necessarily need to be anime based it could be something else my plan is to review gintama rambo which is a playstation 4 playstation vita game that's gonna come out it would be my first one now granted there was an unexpected release that's going to come out with Mob Psycho 100 live action. And I was going to do that, but it's so close in, I might as well just keep my plan intact. Now, there's going to be a lot of other things. There's going to be a movie review. We have a lot of movie coming out this year that's coming from a different series. Like My Hero Academy or Nanosuno Taizai. And it's going to be a lot of stuff. So I decided, 
you know what? I could have a Sparta Lounge Extra and just talk about them just briefly rather than try to go like 30 minutes or 16 minutes like I did with a Silent Voice movie review. Which I might do one for the English dub version. I am planning to see that to see myself if that's a good English dub. So there's going to be a lot more content because of the Sparta Lounge Extra. And you're going to start seeing that once I get the game and once I start reviewing. And another one will be Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which is another review you're going to see coming up. And I can't wait to not only play them, but also talk about them. So another thing I like to post more are the news content. I want to talk about like when there's something like a breaking news, like an old anime coming back. Or something major like a manga is ending in five chapters or anything like that. I noticed I only done it for Attack on Titan. And yeah, they are exciting in my opinion. But I gotta do it with other series, you know. Unless it becomes a Attack on Titan report. And that's not the only thing I am doing. But I am going to talk more with other series. That is a groundbreaking news or just a news I like to talk about. So you're going to see more of those kind of contests in my channel. There's going to be more Sparta's Domain. Truth be told, I have so many stuff to show, but I am going to minimize. Maybe one day, I will show you my collection. One day. Maybe I had to hit that subscriber count. I don't know. In the meantime, I am going to do more Sparta's Domain. It might slow down since I got a lot of stuff that I wanted to get all taken care of. But I want to show you the stuff I got before the holiday sales and then after the holiday sales. Which some of them are just still coming by here. But I'd like to show you what I have after those. Well, it might not be showing up for a while because I got everything I needed. I actually tried to do it around November, but well, like I said, I wasn't as organized. Foolish me. When it comes to social media, Twitter, I want to share more updates more posts and more stuff I like to share of my opinion in a quick manner of like 260 characters how many characters you can fill in now I want you guys to follow me so you can keep up to date on what is going to cover on a specific day like oh I'm going to work on the Sparta Lounge coming soon or I'm going to talk about this review here's it here it is and that's something I like to have connection with a lot of people in fact I am planning to open a reddit account just to have some discussion I know I said before like I'm not much of a guy who likes to discuss with fans because I like to keep my opinion but again you could just go there and talk about your opinions and you don't need to be influenced by the opinions and change your mind completely because what that person say is more about communication and yeah I know that is like no duh <laughs> but I do wanted to talk more with a lot of fans and I do wanted to share some comments and I want to share what I have in mind over my reviews what is the written one or the video one and I like to have more communication with you guys in my Twitter account, which is at Sparta3G. Again, I like to post the updates. I like to share the other contests and there's stuff for a lot of fun stuff. Don't worry. I want to talk about, oh, this food is good. I will have to take a shower. You know, something not too minor. That's something you don't really care. As for Tumblr, I'm continuing to post more written reviews. Content I don't review over the channel, mainly because it's just a lot of work. If you haven't read my One Piece, Naruto no Taizai, or even Shokugeki no Soma review, this is your chance to actually follow me along. And I do connect to the Twitter account so you can see and read it without worrying about making an account. I know Tumblr community is not the greatest as Twitter or even Facebook, but I like to use that blog as my way to share longer posts, written posts, written reviews, or any sorts of thing. I'm going to continue to do more of that, and I'm going to be more active as well. So with Twitter and Tumblr, I'm going to be more social. I'm not going to be too crazy, but I like to communicate with more of the fans. I like to share the updates and so on. So I'm encouraging you to follow me at Twitter and Tumblr if you have either account. You can always ask me any questions, whether it's from YouTube, Tumblr, Twitter, any ways to communicate me, whether it's direct message, private message, ask, whatever. And I would like to answer them. Feel free to do so. Feel free to suggest uh, what anime you will have in mind. Feel free to suggest a manga or anything. If you want to keep up to date exactly what series am I following, what series am I watching, reading, you can always follow me at Mao. 
which is my anime list. I don't really use the scale, so you don't see any numbering for any series. It is my way to keep tracking on the anime and manga that I have been following and see what part I'm stopped at, what episode or chapter I stopped at, and for you guys to stay by me so you would know what am I following. Now, there are going to be series that you're going to be like, huh, well, you got to stay single. That's all I can suggest. But seriously, if you wanted to follow me along on what series am I following, just follow me at my Mao account. It's Sparta 3G. Everything is Sparta 3G. Just like the channel, just like Twitter, just like Tumblr, just like everywhere else. You can suggest me an anime and manga there. You can always keep up to date on my views and so on. So that's the plan for the channel. And it's all going to happen very, very soon. Especially with the Sparta Lounge Extra. If you have any suggestion for what to do with 2018, feel free to leave the comment here. Feel free to share through my social media account. Whatever you like. And that will do it for the podcast. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel. And my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care. Let's have a hell of a year.